So we have a transfer case here that is uh, off of a 2016 Tacoma. I believe it was a 16. Uh, the problem with it, it wasn't shifting from the low range back into high range and vice versa. It was really tough to shift it. Uh, it's got the elect electric motor for the shifting, so it's not manual and uh, it wouldn't it just wouldn't come out of the low range uh, when we, we drained the oil we found some filings uh, non-ferrous filings like brass copper or whatnot so other than that it works i mean in high range it works perfect no issues uh, we'll remove it we'll take it apart and see what caused the issues I'm gonna try to remove this uh, bottom side, see if I can get that shaft to release somehow. Oh yeah, we'll probably be able to. There you go. Yes, okay. Alright, so that's how you do it. You get it. Get it on. Let's release it. There you go. Now it's back together. So that's gonna damage the CO for the motor. It's like a 20 drive open itself. So now we cannot really reuse it because it's being filled by oil for the case. So we're gonna find a C for it or for it's useless. Okay. Does not move nice. Lots of shavings.
Oh my goodness. Check for out. This oil is definitely not clean. Lots of metal shavings. Very, pow very powerful picture. What do we have here? Oh my god. Alright, so this is our shifting forks. This is our chain. All of this came out of place, so this was supposed to be lifted off. This big cover was supposed to be lifted off with the with this sitting on the, on the table, but this pin was the one that was holding everything together and I was not aware of it. Well, now I am. And this little pin here did not need to come out for this to happen, so we're just gonna put it back for now, just so we don't lose anything. We'll be there for now. That's probably for securing this. Well, we will get there later. There's nothing to be shifted here anyway. This is just our planetary reduction gear. Now let's see what is happening here. So this, along with the chain, is supposed to be here. Okay, oh, this went out of whack. Okay, now it's back in. This is back in. All right. And this is also going to be back in as soon as we can. I guess this will be the last one to go in once this is in. Actually, no need to put it all back together since we're taking it apart only. So let's, let's just remove all of this. Oh, I see. So to remove these shifty shafts, you have to remove one bolt that's holding the guiding shaft in place, and that'll let us remove everything else. It kind of didn't come apart as I wanted to, but it still came apart. So far, all the parts have been looking okay. It's just we have a lot of this metal shavings in the oil, and that's what was the issue. Okay, so that comes out. Now this shaft will have to come out. Yes, letting us remove the rest. Okay. So that has been removed. This is our synchros. That's probably where the filings are from. Yeah, you can see a lot of... There's actually aluminum. On the bottom of the case, there's lots of aluminum filings, like big chunks, right here, you can see. Big aluminum chunks. Oh, and this came out of somewhere. This is one of the synchro locks. Yes, probably yeah, it probably came out of right here. There you go. There's, oh, there's probably a few more somewhere. Yeah, since all of this came apart as I was removing, there's 53 of those in multiple places. I only found one so far, but. They're all somewhere. 
here. We will eventually find them. Oh, there's one more. So that's cool. One more to find. If I dig through all of these, I'll probably find it. So I will make sure not to throw anything away. Find the, the remaining lock. Yeah, gotta find one more. Now to get this out, we need to remove some of the internals. Ooh, where is this from? Huh. Oh, it's from the inside of here. Ooh. And how did it come out? It's like a two-piece bearing. Quite interesting. Not sure how this works, but there was like a two-piece bearing somewhere inside of that. Okay, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's dig in. Let's just keep removing. All right, so this is our pickup screen for our pump. It's very cool that transfer case has a pump. A mechanical one too, not bad. This is a very good idea. The screen is not clogged, by the way, even though there was a lot of shavings inside, and this magnet has also a lot of shavings, but the screen is not clogged. Okay, so let's remove the pump, and that'll give us a possibility to remove all of this stuff here. Now that another snap ring is cut. It seems that this pump has an intake right here. That's where we pulled our pipe from, pickup pipe. And then it, when it has enough pressure, when it's sucked up enough oil and created some pressure, pushes onto this valve here. There's like a spring valve, and that, that'll open that valve. The pressure will open that valve, and then the oil will just spray all over the place. It's basically like a splash lubrication type of thing. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. If you have a better idea, please post it in the comments. Yeah, this is just like very simple pump. Low pump, I can see. And that also has a lot of filings. Hm, maybe I should open it up and see. Probably okay, it looks okay. Looks okay. I don't think I want to take it apart. It couldn't have possibly made that many filings on that little pump. Alright, so now the only thing left is to remove this gear, planetary reduction gear. Now remove that pin there. Should not have put it back, but whatever. Yeah, and came out. All right. So now I'm going to remove that little snap ring here. There you go. And now this gear is supposed to just push through. Yeah, it's supposed to, but isn't. Oh yeah, it did. With a little tap, it did. So that's our, that's our planetary reduction gear, and that's our locked-in-place gear. That's the planetary carrier. So this is the planetary carrier right here, with a big chunk of steel. This is our ring gear. It's held in place, and the sun is in the middle. You can see the sun spinning, spun by the planet gears. Quite an interesting design. I still haven't seen what failed here, so I guess it must be in the synchros. And I haven't found our small piece. Maybe that was what has been ground into pieces. The fork has somewhere. Oh yeah. So I found the, our issue. So the fork, the shifting fork, had worn out to the point of like binding. And uh, created such a such a struggle to shift because because it was binding it was binding it should not have all of these this free play it should be very tight fit yes that's our problem okay 
So what needs to be done is this fork needs to be replaced. And that should do it. Also, we need to find one more of those that have been lost somewhere in the process. I don't know where it is. I was not able to find it yet. Hopefully it's somewhere stuck to some other part. We have fallen into this as well. Not seeing it. This would also be really hard to reassemble. Or maybe not that hard. Just drop it in there and uh, let it sit in its place. It should be easy enough. Yeah, it should be okay. And then whatever shot goes in there. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, seeing no other issues. Okay. So that concludes the transfer case here down. We don't need to take apart all these synchros as they don't see seem too bad, but in fact I don't see any I don't see any issues with those. And we are missing we're still missing one of those. I don't know where that is. Terribly sorry. But I just maybe I'll find it when I pack all these things up in the boxes. But for now, don't see them. Actually, found it. Right here on the floor. Probably flight out. All right, so we have all three of those, we're all good. All right, thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Good luck.